Hey everybody, Balun here from Language Academy. Guys, welcome back to another video. This video, we'll be quickly looking at repeat sentences. I get this question a number of times that we are struggling in repeat sentence. I'm struggling in repeat sentence. I'm not sure how to improve repeat sentences. What I'm going to cover in this video, um, how important are repeat sentences? Do you really need to repeat 100% of the content? What happens if you don't get the content? How to maximize your score even if you don't have 100 content now as all of you know repeat sentence is the second task of your speaking module and gives a lot of points in your speaking and your listening module as well a lot of points in your listening module now what is the issue sometimes the sentences are long sometimes the accent is difficult to understand sometimes the audio is too fast and majority of the students are not able to repeat 100 percent of the content you all need to understand this one thing that PT is not really expecting you to repeat 100% of the sentence. Practically speaking, no one can repeat a 15 words long sentence in a, in a single go in exactly the same manner. Um, how can I say that? Um, a lot of you will ask that, yes, PT marking says if you repeat 100% of the content, then only you'll get full points in content. See, the last eight tests I've taken, I've got a perfect 19 speaking, a perfect 19 listening as well. And to be very honest, um, I'm not always able to repeat 100% of the repeat sentences. And PT knows this fact. It's not your memory test. They have spoken in one of their videos as well, that they're not checking your memory skills. They're checking how... Um, quickly, can you repeat the sentence accurately, right? Now, what do they mean by that? And what I have concluded over, um, you know, training thousands of students, gave, taking the test again and again, you don't really need to repeat 100% of the content. If, even if you repeat around 80% of the content, it's fine. Let's say you're getting 10 repeat sentences out of 10, six to seven or eight will be around eight to 10 words. One, two or three will be slightly long. The easy ones, you should be able to repeat around 80-90%. The long ones, you should be at least able to repeat around 70-80% to 80 of the content. In the difficult ones, if you repeat 70-80% to 80 of the content, but if you speak it clearly and confidently, you will 120% get your scores. I've done number of Pearson official mock tests where I messed up two to three repeat sentences and I got a full score in listening as well as in speaking. Now, let's say, what are the common mistakes? Let's say if you um, hear the sentences, I'm going to London with my friends tomorrow in a bus. And the student only understood I'm going to London. What majority of the students do is they'll speak it this way. I am going to London, um, London friends, um, and then they click next. But what you have to do, you have to repeat as much as you can in a clear and in a fluent manner. If I am in this position, what I'll do is I'm going to London because I'm very happy with my friends. Now repeat as much as you can. And if you don't remember the later part, you can repeat or you can make a sentence by yourself. But the condition is you have to speak clearly and confidently. There's no point of repeating 10 words and not speaking clearly. It's better to repeat six, seven words, but speak them clearly. Because if you're repeating 10 words and computer is not able to understand it, there's no point of repeating it. It's better you repeat six or seven words, but repeat those clearly. Now I'll give you three strategies, which I suggest all my students to follow. The very first strategy and which majority of the students follow is just close your eyes, try to understand the meaning of the sentence. Whatever sentence you'll get in the audio will have a meaning. And if you understand the meaning of the sentence, you will never stop while giving out your response. What you need to do is close your eyes, listen to the sentence don't write anything try to understand the meaning of the sentence and once the audio starts the audio um, recording will start one second after the audio stops you have to repeat as much as you can in a clear and fluent manner remember in repeat sentences you will not get any beep which indicates your recording has started you need to look at your screen when your recording starts and you have to give your response so do not write anything, close your eyes, understand the meaning of the sentence and go on from there. Repeat as much as you can, but repeat it clearly and fluently. The second method is to write initials. It um, doesn't really work with a lot of students, but I'll still suggest, I personally follow it because I am used to writing initials, but majority of the students do struggle because I've been doing this for five years now. I'm used to it, but if you can follow it, that's well and good. How does this strategy works? 
as soon as the audio starts you have to write the first alphabet of each word for example i'm going to london we just need to write i a g t l and once the audio stops you need to look at the initials and repeat all the words now what is the problem with strategy majority of the students are not able to recall the initials that is where the problem is so i'll suggest if you can easily follow it follow it otherwise we have got a mixture strategy which is strategy number 3 you just write a few initials or a few words for example the sentence is i am going to london with my friends in a bus you just write i am going to london and remember the last part or what you can do is you can remember the first part and write down the last few words understand any strategy you are following you need to make sure you understand the meaning of the sentence understand the meaning of the sentence look at the notes you have got and try to repeat as much as you can that's all you need to do don't aim for 100% accuracy if you get around 80% accuracy in repeat sentence but you repeat everything clearly and confidently 120% you'll get your score your aim should be repeating as much as you can but repeating it clearly and confidently last scenario let's say you only remember two words i am you don't remember anything you have two options try and think about the sentence but if you'll do so you won't be able to recall a single thing because you have limited time what you should be doing just make out a sentence by yourself at least you'll get points in fluency and your pronunciation for example your sentence is i am just say i am very happy to be here because i am enjoying it or just make any simple sentence but prepare the sentence before you actually go for the test so that you don't have to think over there so what i do is whenever i don't remember or don't understand the sentence i just just say and i'm very happy i am here to take the pt test and i'm very happy or you just say i'm going to london and i'm very happy so repeat as much as of the sentence you have got and then add a filler by yourself if you do so you will be better than not repeating anything again out of 10 repeat sentence you can't really mess six of them yes you can mess two or three when i say mess i mean repeat 60 70% of the content but repeat it clearly and confidently if you do so 120% you will get your score so this is it from this video every day practice 30 35 repeat sentences to practice you can go on languageacademy.com.au register and start practicing that's it from this video guys i hope the video was helpful if it was please do like share and subscribe my only aim is to make sure i help you to get your desired score without wasting your time and money and if you ever get your scores watching my videos do let me know that is something i work for and that is something which will keep me going on varun from language academy you can follow us on facebook instagram and all other social media platforms and if you need any help you can visit our website or contact us on these numbers i'll see you very soon till then take care and stay safe please make sure you share it with your friends as well and subscribe to the channel